Hello, welcome to Invictus Porsche. My name is Bashir Zahir. Today we've got a Porsche 911 997.2 Carrera 4 GTS. What's all the fuss about a GTS? What makes them special? Why is it that you should have to spend 50,000 pounds plus to get a GTS? Watch this video and hopefully you should have an answer to why you should come to our dealership and drive this away. GTS, GTS, what is it all about? Well, firstly, you get a very prominent front splitter. And on the side, you've got the side sills of the Porsche 911 GT2. And if you come with me further down in, you'll find that this has the central look, uh, the, the central lock alloys. This essentially gives you a race style look to your vehicle. And now onto the back, this is where the magic on these GTSs essentially happen. Of course, you've got the Carrera 4 GTS badging there. This is the wider, you know, the wide chassis, wider car. Essentially, this is the body shape that you get on the GT3 and the GT2s. What is it that makes GTS special? I mean, what is it that's about these cars that is very unique, very different? Well, essentially, you've got the powertrain of a 911 Carrera S or a Carrera 4S which is 3.8 liter. But with a GTS, you get a power pack. So a bit of a power boost by about 20 brake horsepower. So this takes you to 420 BHP. And the torque stays the same at 420 Newton meters of torque. But essentially, you get a car, well, a Porsche 911 that sits on this big, wide, fat, chunky rear tires. You've got this broad shoulder look, which essentially makes you feel a little bit more self-assured over the narrow bodied 911 Carrera S. And the on, on the inside, there's quite a few remarkable differences. And one being predominantly Alcantara. And on the subject of Alcantara, this exudes a bit of an air of the GT3. And essentially, to know a little bit more about the GTS, we need to get into it and drive it and tell you a little bit more. Now here we are behind the steering wheel on the GTS and if there's one thing to know that is if the 997.2 is rare then the convertibles are even rarer. In this instance this is extremely well spec it's only had two owners from new. The current owner as a matter of fact has had this 911 GTS since July 2014. So if you want something that's going to hold its value and that essentially you could do 10, 15,000 miles and still be able to sell it for mid 50,000 pounds then this is the 911 to get because the way these Porsches, well these 911 GTSs and the turbos are going is only up and of course rarity, limited numbers and overall what you get in terms of a car is what keeps their values as high as, as they have been. Now, let's switch on sports. Let's switch on the PC system. We're in second gear and enjoy the grunt of the star car. And now if you think the 911-997.2 Carrera S or Carrera 4S is engaging and fun to drive. The GTS takes it to a completely different level in itself. You're essentially looking at a GT3 or a GT level product, but in a 911 GTS that you can practically daily every single day. And of course, have a big, broad smile on your face. Yes. We still have the hydraulic steering wheel in the second generation of the 997. They are incredibly engaging. You've still got the nimble, agile, you know, smaller, petite body shape of a 911 in comparison to what you get in the newer generation 911s, the 991.2s. No, sorry, the 991.1s and the .2s. Essentially, they're just that bit wider and longer and 
unfortunately, you know, some say that it's lost its 9-11 characteristics. Well, if you are somebody that want that characteristic and some, something with a bit of a character, history, heritage, and essentially made and built by Porsche for the Porsche market, then the 997.2 is essentially the epitome of what you could get being the flagship car in a 911. Well, in a Porsche, when it comes to a Porsche brand. And the GTS, these obviously, the 911 GTSs were produced from essentially the second generation from 997.2s because in the first generation 997, you essentially got the base 911, the Carrera S, the 4S, the Turbo, the GT3 or the GT2. Whereas in the 997.2, this is where they essentially reintroduced the GTS brand once again. I get, you know, I've, I've been through this already, what the GTS essentially means for the Porsche brand. The suspension setup on the GTS is different to the Carrera S because this is now essentially 20 millimeters lowered over the base 911. Which, if it doesn't have PASM, they are 20 millimeter higher. So, you can already from the comparison video that I did between a Carrera 4S and the Carrera 4 GTS, which is this, you can already see the difference in the wheel arch in terms of the clearance between your tire and your wheel arch that this the 10 millimeter you can see on the eye that it is lower therefore you do get slightly lower center of gravity that's a beautiful sound out of that tunnel i wish you could just carry on now this is a 3.8 liter and the 3.8 litre produces 420 brake horsepower, 420 Newton meters of torque. The 0 to 62 is possible in 4.6 seconds. MPG wise, well, who cares? Well, if you do, it produces 29 miles per gallon combined. And on a motorway, you could be looking at between 38 to 40 miles per gallon. This is an absolute phenomenal car. And you've got the air of a GT3 on the inside with all the Alcantara, with all the spec. You're sitting in the sports seats. You've got the back of these seats also finished and that Carrara white color of the outside. You've got the outside, which has got the wider, you know, chassis car, essentially the big broad shoulders, the self-assured driving that you get through the uh, chunky fat tires on the back. And essentially you've got a power kit here, which gives you an additional, you know, approximately 40 brake horsepower. So essentially, you've got a slightly tuned powertrain, and overall, a car that is set up a little bit different to what you would expect on the S or the Carrera 4S. So I think this has everything going for an absolutely fantastic, not just an investment opportunity, but an absolute, you know, daily build car that you can, you know, fun, enjoy it, and just get the absolute best out of it and never have to worry or think about putting an additional 10, 15 or even 20,000 miles because this is not going to depreciate from where it's currently at in terms of prices. So once again, thank you for watching the video. All of our earnings from the two YouTube channels gets donated to charity. So essentially you watching this video, you're helping towards a good cause and thank you once again. I've done a comparison between this, a 4S, and I've done a, a review completely separate on the 4S. And you know, just, just, just watch these or watch some of the other videos on our channel. And thank you, and I hope to see you next time in, in further reviews. See you, see you again, and bye-bye for now.